Hello, hello, Dustin Ray here, and welcome to the Starship Atom Dust, and welcome to show two of my podcast, uh, where I'm going to be talking more about me and the purpose of my podcast a little later on. But first, I want to get into what uh, the title of this is about, and that is Phil Kagi. And I never really before, since I never had a podcast before, I have only announced on Facebook and past some other social media that Phil was going to appear on my 2020 release, Don't Ask Me. So since I grew up in the same area that Phil is from, I've heard plenty of stories about Phil. Uh, stories about people who knew him, stories about people who saw him play when he was younger, stories about people who played with him or even learned from him about playing the guitar. Uh, these stories actually persist to this day. Uh, you're talking over 30 years of stories about Mr. Phil Kagi. Uh, a lot of these stories were from his pre-Glass Harp and probably pre-New Hudson Exit days. Uh, the man who runs the studio that I use, Jack, told me just the other day in session that he just had breakfast with a bass player who played with Phil uh, before his glass harp days. Joe Hudak, who played on a track on my last album, which was, uh, I'll tell you later, uh, the track he played on was uh, called Only One Voice, track 13 on this one. But he told me uh, that he remembers a few, uh, he remembers going over Phil's house hearing him play and getting some tips on uh, a guitar because uh, Joe is an excellent guitar player himself. So it seems like uh, it was just a few years ago that the local rock station here in town, uh, in Youngstown, Y103, was still playing glass harp songs. Uh, I guess they still do. Uh, I, I don't know. Does anybody know if they still do? Uh, it just seems really strange to me that when I started mentioning to people when this... Uh, when this album came out, uh, that he played on, it was, uh, where did it go? Don't Ask Me. Uh, I mentioned to people that uh, in this area, what it seemed, it seemed, uh, people that seemed to be in the proper age range. Uh, I mentioned that uh, this album, when this album was coming out, that Phil played on the album, I seemed to be getting a lot of blank stares. I don't know if it just depends on who you talk to. Maybe there just aren't a lot of music fans around. People who, you know, or maybe aren't in the right circles. I don't know, but it just kind of surprised me. Anyway, Phil Kagi is a seven-time, seven-time Gospel Music Association Dove Award winner and a two-time Grammy Award nominee. He has released over 55 albums. I'm not holding up my album. He, he's on it, but he, that's not one of his. He has released 55 albums in his career and has made appearances on many others. That he did play on my album, and don't ask me, on the song Back to Youngstown. Uh, Phil is actually from Hubbard, Ohio, but graduated from Austintown Fitch High School. Uh, so at some point in time, he moved, uh, I suppose, to Austintown. The main studio I work in now is Take Note Productions, which is in Austintown, Ohio. It's run by a great musician who is a wonderful Christian man named Jack Charnello. Hi, Jack. You see this? Uh, so these areas are all very close to each other. Uh, I actually live in Warren, Ohio, which is currently about a 30-minute drive because they're working on the highway. My exit, I have to go around my exit, adds about five minutes uh, to the trips, usually a little less. Uh, but this is why when I wrote a song called Back to Youngstown, I had to get the most famous guitar players from the guitarist from the Youngstown area to play on it, which is Phil Kagi. Uh, there is a, uh, I did make a music video for it. If you want to check it out on YouTube, Back to Youngstown, Dustin Ray, and Phil does make a short uh, cameo on it. Uh, and for all you Phil Kagi fans out there, despite my obviously meager attempts to promote it, uh, according to my sales figures, it still has to be the rarest of all rare 
Phil Kagey appearances. So, impress your fellow Phil Kagey fans, uh, Phil Kagey friends, who are fans, and uh, or Phil Kagey fan friends, whatever you want to say it, and pick up this rare jewel. I have a huge sale going on right now on this release. It was going on to the end of July, but I'll extend it uh, one or two days because August 1st is my actually my birthday. And I don't want to feel like doing all the work of going in and changing all the prices on my birthday. So, you know, that's no way to celebrate. The digital download of Don't Ask Me is $3 off. This is a 16-track album. A lot of other uh, cool stuff about this album I talked about on my first uh, uh, first episode of the podcast. You can go back and check that out. But um, 16 tracks for only $9.99 if you want the download. Uh you can go there if you like and just download the single if you just want the Phil Gage track. Uh, the better deal is the CD deal. Don't buy, uh, if you don't buy, no, do buy. Buy Don't Ask Me on CD and you get a CD for free. Also free shipping. Great deal. For 13 bucks you get two CDs. So, uh, you can choose from most of my CDs for your free CD. Uh, the first one is The Difference. The second one, Inside Tracks. The third one, It Doesn't Matter What It's Called. The fourth one is It's Time with special guest uh, Michael Rowe of the 77s and The Lost Dogs. He's covering one of my songs called My Friend. Um, the fifth one, I Forget. Uh, I don't forget the name of the album. It's actually called I Forget. Uh, it's a picture of me overseas in Ukraine. And the sixth one is, if you want two copies, you can get two copies of Don't Ask Me. And this has special guests Phil Kagey, Liz Ann Hill, and Nick Janakis of Wretch. And uh, the seventh choice is The Next Big Thing, also from 2020. Um... Just put the name of the free CD that you want when you go to www.dustinray.bandcamp.com to order. They'll come up, when you order, they'll come up, message to Dustin when you order. Um, and then you write in the name of the CD that you want for free. All the CDs are available on this offer except for the two from 2022 which are freedom, and I'll tell you later. Everything else is available, even if you want two copies of Don't Ask Me. And uh, it's already programmed to not charge any shipping. You just have to put the name of the extra free CD in the message to Dustin. That's two discs for only $13 free shipping. You can't beat it. You got about a week and a half to act on this deal. Incidentally, again, if you're a fan of classic Christian music and you get Don't Ask Me on this offer and you get It's Time, you will get a very rare appearance of Phil Kagey and a very rare appearance from Micro of the 77s for 13 bucks, and you get two great albums this one's a Christian album. This one's a mainstream album that Phil appeared on. Um, and you can't beat it. Uh, also, I, want to, I wanted to t let you know to check out my Freedom Tees. I have a couple other t-shirts, but this is by far the, the coolest looking one. This is the cover of my Freedom album from 2022. Uh, they're only $17.76. There's also a Freedom CD and T package. And you can check that on the, on the website. The Freedom album itself feature, features a song with guest star Dale Thompson from the band Bride. Um, he appears on the song Free which is uh, a Striper song from their huge album, To Hell with the Devil. We do it as if 
it was a classic rock song that it came out about 10 years earlier. It's really cool, cool concept. Came out really cool, really great. Uh, and of course, every every order gets stickers that come with it from the last two albums, the Freedom album, and I'll tell you later. Okay, moving on to the purpose of my my new podcast. Obviously, the purpose is to keep you informed of what's going on in my music career, but I will also be talking about other topics as well. These topics will include, but are not limited to, the wide scope would be musical topics, number one, number two, biblical and spiritual issues, number three, possibly, possibly, some current events and military issues, me being a former uh, uh, army officer. Number one is music. Uh, my background in music, I've released nine albums that I've talked about so far, two labels, and I'm currently working on two more. I covered that in my first episode. Number two, I live in Northeast Ohio, but I have made two trips to Nashville to work with some of the top producers and uh, studio musicians there. Uh, I won't try to name them all right now. Maybe that'll be another episode, but I've, I've worked with some pretty impressive uh, musicians down there. Uh, number three, I've sung the National Anthem for the Cleveland Indians. You can check out that video on um, my channel, my YouTube channel, which is uh, Dustin Ray Hawkinsmith. Uh, number four, I've written over 300 songs, but I've produced and released just over 100 of them so far. And of course, with these two new albums, I have more, uh, more coming. Number five, I made somewhere around 20 music videos. Some more high budget than others. Um, some are, you know, you can tell are when I was just starting out, uh, others are really, really cool that I've done with, uh, with Jack Charnello and also with uh, uh, Nexus Sound Studios that are based in Youngstown. And they also have a, a, a studio here in Warren. Uh, the videos are usually done in Youngstown both of these studios do great work with this with the uh with the videos uh nexus in youngstown has like a, a warehouse uh if you go on and start checking out my videos uh, I, in the description i put which uh, which place i use which studio i use for each one i always give credits for everyone who appears uh in in my videos and everyone who appeared in the who worked on the song in all those videos I have a YouTube channel, number six, I have a YouTube channel that currently has uh, about 67,000 subscribers right now, so I must be doing something right. Number seven, my most popular video on YouTube has about a quarter million views, and that's my cover, Gordon Lightfoot's If You Could Read My Mind. We released it about a year ago. Um, number eight, I also did a couple of Facebook promotions back in 2020 that had a, about a million playthroughs each. Those were, uh, the first one was I Got You, which is responsible, not responsible, but where we got uh, the, uh, where these uh, backdrop came from is a sci-fi, kind of like a sci-fi inspired love song and uh, the backdrop and the, this is the captain's chair. I've got to get this hooked up. Uh, this is uh, the electronics. I got to get the electronics hooked up. These podcasts will be getting better as I go, uh, but the uh, the chairs, all this furniture was used in that video. The second one is Your Time Has Come, which was a, a very strong evangel evangelical song, and uh, the video was a little low budget, but uh, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, we filmed part of it in Mill Creek Park in Youngstown and part of it in uh, Jack Charnello's studio, Take Note Productions. Um, so that's some of the things about my musical background, uh, about the, uh, the biblical and spiritual issues. I've been a Christian for about 47 years and I've, I know, hold the four. I know that I here, see all the comments. Now you look 10 years younger. Okay. Yeah. Keep them coming. Put all the comments. Yeah, that's great. Um, but no, I've been a Christian actually for about 47 years now and I've read and studied the Bible for most of my life. Uh, I have a degree in professional writing and a minor in Bible from Cedarville University, which is a uh, Christian college in Cedarville, Ohio. Um, I incidentally did um, my ROTC at Central State 
University, which is a HBC right down, uh, maybe about 10 minutes from Cedarville. Uh, I've continued my reading and study by reading many authors, and I generally average reading uh, about 30 books a year on topics ranging on uh, eschatology, biblical apologetics, archaeology, theology, etc. Favorite authors include people like Dr. Michael Heiser, uh, Derek and Sheridan Gilbert, Josh Peck. Uh, you can see his, I'm reading his book now. I grabbed that to hold that sign up. In the first video, I kept bringing it over, and uh, I thought this would be a little bit better, so they can just stay there. All my stuff is right here. Just This is where you can check out my music. Uh, but Josh Peck, um, this is a great book I'm reading now. His book before this was really good. Uh, all of these people are very good. Jonathan Kahn, really good stuff. Uh, Dr. Thomas Horn, who sadly passed away recently. So did Dr. Michael Heiser. Uh, I can't say enough good things about, about him. I would check into his background and his qualifications uh, for the stuff that he's written. Just amazing work, amazing um, uh, my favorite book is uh, Reversing Hermann. Uh, just if you have any interest in, in how we know some of the things we know, uh, he worked on the Logos, um, Logos uh, Word, uh, what was it, the uh, Word Origins and everything, the software, Logos software. Um, anyways, moving on, Dr. Thomas Horn, Skywatch TV, Defender Publishing, Carl Gallips, doc, uh, Dr. Michael Lake, to name a few. Now, these, um, these videos, I just want to say that I'm going to be doing on this podcast, hopefully are going to be shorter videos to inform. Uh, this is not the platform to argue on fringe issues. I know a lot of people like to do that. Uh, go to social media, go to Facebook to do that, please. Also, I just want to say as a Christian, arti as a Christian artist, this podcast is unashamedly dedicated to Jesus Christ and to spreading his gospel. Okay, so moving on about the military, my military background. I had a 20 year career in the uh, United States Army Reserves, three company level commands, one of which was when I was activated and deployed to Operation Iraqi Freedom. And uh, there I commanded a 180 soldier truck transportation unit with 7.5K uh, trailers. Those are the big ones. We were hauling fuel into and throughout Iraq and uh, before the time that I was uh, uh, an officer, I was enlisted. I was an enlisted soldier, uh, and I was a, a PSYOP specialist trained by our government on how to conduct psychological operations on civilian populations. And this is something everyone in America should be quite familiar with by now. Uh, the, uh, maybe I'll do a future episode on that. As this podcast grows, uh, I plan to have guests on to talk about these issues and also to talk about their own stories. I obviously have a lot to learn about how to do these podcasts and the tech involved, but I hope, well, I will learn as I go. Uh, just a note, I will be doing the interview with Pure Media Australia tomorrow, tomorrow night. Uh, it'll be the next day their time. They will be posting it on their website on the evening of July 25th, Australia time. They do have ties with larger, much larger independent media outlets. I won't name them now, but they've mentioned uh, this. I'm hoping this will lead to bigger things. Perhaps I will hear from, uh, from them. I have talked with, these, uh, with the people that run Pure Media Australia, and I'm really hoping, really looking forward to the interview and to turning more people onto their site and to their mission and possibly helping them with this mission and moving with, with their mission moving forward. Uh, just remember that our enemy is always trying to deceive us. But if you know the word, you know that it is the Holy Spirit that leads us into all truth. But with God, you cannot be lazy. The Holy Spirit will lead you into all truth, but you also have to do all the work. Not all the work, but you also have to do some work. Uh, you cannot just go on your feelings. You must do the research. Then, as you do the research, the Holy Spirit will lead you. Uh, just as they say, uh, when you go to church, and yes, 
if you know your Bible, you're supposed to go to church. But when you go to church and you hear the, the uh, pastor preaching, a good pastor will tell you, check what I'm telling you by reading the Bible. You have to know the Word of God. I do believe you can trust the, the, the Bible. Uh, Josh Peck gives a good, lays out a good reason why you can trust the canon of Scripture today. I do believe that God is more powerful than the, uh, the Luciferians or whatever the elites that people say, well, he's, they, they, they're hidden or they change the Bible. and God's more powerful. God has the Word of God for you the way he wants you to read it. So read it. Get to know it. So God will lead, the Holy Spirit will lead you into all truth, but you have to do the work. I can tell you this much. The Holy Spirit is not going to guide you to simply turn on the TV, listen to what the Luciferian globalist prop propaganda wants you to hear and believe it. Uh, I think that's strike one, two, and three, and you're out. Try a little bit harder. Step one, turn off the TV. Step two, get into the Word of God and go from there. We'll leave it there for now. This is Captain Dustin Ray signing off from the Starship Adam Dust. Full speed ahead, and God bless. Have a good one.